Hi everybody, welcome back. I'm gonna do a little makeup tutorial in today's video. So it's gonna include products that I haven't used in a while. So I've got a project pan going on along with a shop moustache and an eyeshadow roulette. And I tend to find that the only makeup I use comes from those kind of challenges that I've set myself. So I do often neglect some of my other makeup even though I try to rotate items in my shop moustache. So I'm gonna use some makeup that I feel like I haven't worn in a long time. And I'm filming in the lounge, I'm filming with only natural lighting, so hopefully it's gonna be a better representation as to how the makeup looks. So I'll zoom you in a little bit and we can get started. All right, this is a makeup item that I use basically every single time I wear my makeup. So this is excluded from makeup that I haven't worn in a long time, but it's my Bobbi Brown under eye corrector. And I love it for just helping neutralize my dark circles which are pretty bad, pretty purple, pretty blue and just basically need a little bit of colour correcting. Now I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer as my foundation because I've got a lot of this left and I am panning two other concealers at the moment, so this one doesn't really get used that often. And it's a big concealer, it's like 15 mils, so it's a real decent sized concealer. And I've got loads of it left still. Now I'm not a massive fan of how concealer looks as a foundation. I tend to find it looks very heavy. So I think what I might try doing in the future is mixing some in with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Seeing if that helps to like sheen it out a little bit. Because yeah, I do find that this is quite heavy. Now I did use a fair amount of it, so Maybe if I toned it down a little bit more, but yeah, I'm not overly impressed with the finish of, of using concealers as a foundation. I'm just putting some of Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter through my brows, not a makeup item that I rarely use. I use this most days. Just popping that on whilst this concealer sets a little bit. I've got quite a sore under the skin spot here. I don't know why. And I'm gonna set that concealer with some of my Bare Minerals Original Loose Powder Foundation. So pop some in your lid, swirl it around with your brush, rotate your brush and then swirl the other way. Tap off the excess. And then you just buff it into your skin. And this is a really nice buildable foundation. So it's just gonna add a little bit more coverage to the concealer but help set it as well and I've not used this for a while it was in my shop my stash earlier this year because I think I layered this over the top of the complexion rescue also from bare minerals that I was panning and they worked fairly well together okay next for bronzer I'm gonna use my Vive bronzer in the shade light this is a bronzing duo so you have a lighter shade and a dark shade. I like to do a mixture of the two. And it's just a really blendable, buildable bronzer. I don't find it's really orange or really dark as well. I think it's quite good on my fair skin. Very nice, very natural. So for a lot of the rest of the makeup, I'm gonna use this palette. This is by Laura Geller and it's one of the Weekender palettes. And this is the Sunday Fun Day one. And this one is my favorite out of all of them, but it's actually the one I use the least. And I think it's the one I use the least because I know that I really like it because these are my kind of shades, browns, coppers, warm shades of neutrals. So I don't really tend to reach for this one that often because I kind of know I like it. I don't need to keep trying it. But I'm gonna use most of the stuff in here. So I'm gonna take this blusher, which is in the shade Apricot Delight. The only issue is, is because these are quite narrow, I sometimes have to squeeze 
my brush like that to get into the um, into the pans and these are really pigmented <laughs> Now I'm not much of a highlighter fan but I am going to use a bit of it and it's called Copper Pearl and it is a really warm peach type of highlighter so I'm just going to use just a little bit on my cheekbones and just bring it up to the top of my brow bone and then a little bit any excess down the nose and that's all I do with highlighter I don't want a lot of it. So it's not blinding, but hopefully you can see a little bit of shimmer as I move my face. Next, just priming my eyelids with my NYX eyeshadow base. This is my project pan. I'm very nearly out of it because I use it most times when I wear makeup. So these eyeshadow shades are definitely my kind of colours. I'm going to keep it kind of simple because I want the lip to be the main focal point of today's makeup. I'm actually going to go for a red lip. I rarely go for a red lip so I'm not really sure what's going on with me today but I just really fancy wearing a red lip so I want to keep the eyes fairly neutral but something on the eyes. So I'm going to run some of this one through the crease which is in the shade Rich Umber. With my finger I'm going to take some of Golden Girl and put that on the lid. I don't want a load of shimmer on the lid but just, oh okay actually this is a load of shimmer. That was only a light press in the pan. Alright I'm just going to put however much shimmer on my lid. Actually no that's blended out okay that's alright, that's alright. And then with a slanted eyebrow eyeliner kind of brush I'm going to take some cedar wood that darker brown and just do a little bit of a liner effect on my upper lash line this isn't as pigmented as other shadows within my collection with the other eye I had to build it up in quite a few layers to get a good amount of pigment. Not sure whether it's because I'm going over a shimmer. All right, eyes done. Gonna curl my eyelashes a little bit. And mascara is Clinique Lash Power Mascara in the shade Dark Chocolate. Really like this mascara. I've only started using it this month. And it's really nice. Doesn't smudge too much when you apply it. Say that, I'm going to smudge it now, aren't I? Lasts all day. Doesn't smudge throughout the day as well. And you can build up the lashes really nicely. And it's a really small wand as well. It's a really small head. So you can be quite precise with it. It's quite good for your lower lashes. And just to finish off the brows, I'm going to use some of NYX Micro Brow in the shade Taupe just to fill in some of these gaps. And then finally on to lips. Now the red I'm going to use is from Estee Lauder and it is an orange red and it's in the shade Persuasive. I do also have a lip liner from MAC in the shade Brick which I'm also going to use to line my lips. So there we go, I went in with the lip brush and then the MAC Brick Lip Liner, but I think that Brick Lip Liner is too red based. I feel like I need more of an orange based red lip liner, so if you know of any, please let me know, because the two of them don't really go together that well. I did have to smudge out the lip liner quite a bit with my finger, and then it made it a little bit messy. 
but even though I'm not really a big red lipstick wearer, I really like this shade of red and that's because it's an orange based red, it's a lot warmer and I actually kind of quite like it for a change. Now I did also pull out another bit of makeup and I'm not really sure if putting this on is going to completely ruin the look and this is my Peaches and Cream Nile Eyeliner. It is a beautiful bluish turquoise. I might put some of this, I am going to put some of this in my waterline because I haven't worn this in ages. And I'm unsure whether or not to declutter it because it is a gorgeous shade, but I just don't really wear it that often. Um, hopefully this hasn't ruined the look. I'm hoping it's made it more of like that kind of beach kind of makeup look. So bronze skin, bronze eyes, a little bit of turquoise and then an orangey red lip. But this is the final look. So this is a full face of makeup that I haven't really used in a while. And actually, I quite like all of it. This, where's it gone? This palette here by Laura Geller. I need to start getting this out a bit more often, but this is like a real autumn palette. Look at these colors. These just kind of scream autumn, don't they? So maybe as we move into like October and November, I will start getting this one out a little bit more and wearing it because I think it is really, really nice. And also if I'm feeling brave enough, maybe get this red lipstick out a little bit more because yeah, I think this is quite a really nice red lip. Oh, let's take the hair down. Let's see what this does to the look. As per, I haven't done anything with my hair, <laughs> apart from a bit of oil in the ends, but I haven't styled it. On days like today where it's really hot, I just tend to put it up in a claw clip and that is it. But yeah, this is the final look. So a full face of makeup with products that I don't use that often. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe if you haven't already. It would be lovely to have you here. Thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you again soon for my next video. Bye.